Hi, this is Sheila Farrell from zingmedia.com. Welcome to my video guides on design, development and marketing for the internet and mobile. In this lesson we're going to look at how we can lay out our CSS styles. I'm going to add a rule for the body element, so I'm going to add body and then add some various declarations for the font family, background colour, etc. So I'm going to start off with the colour and I'm going to make that black. I'm going to add a hexadecimal value using the shortcut. I'm going to add my next declaration which is the font size. I tend to work in either M's or percentages so I'm going to add one M. Another declaration could be the background colour. which again is going to be another hexadecimal value. And you can see already it's starting to take up quite a lot of space going across the page. Now you can certainly lay your CSS style out that way. What you could also do is put the various different declarations on a new line. So that when you go to edit this in the future it's just easier to see. I tend to tab the declarations in as well. What I also tend to do is put my semicolon at the end of my last declaration so that in the future I don't accidentally leave it out causing my rule not to work. I'm going to add a final declaration which will be the font family. And then finishing off with the semicolon. As you can see here it's just easier to read and in the future you'll find this much better to work with. If however you're adding something very simple such as I might be doing a rule for my paragraph and the only thing that I want to do is add some padding at the bottom such as four pixels. In this example it might just be worth keeping it on one line. Thank you for watching. This and other video guides on design, development and marketing for internet and mobile continue at www.zingmedia.com forward slash video.